Welcome back to another episode of the Coyote Car Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install window tent on a window that's outside of a car. Let's go! The things you're going to need to complete this job are some lint-free paper towels, some spray to clean down the windshield or window. Uh, you're going to need a hard card, which is basically just a card that you can uh, push the bubbles out. You're going to need a razor blade of some sort, um, X-Acto knife. And then what you're going to need also is a set of razor blades just to make sure you get all the gunk and uh, fingerprints, oils, anything like that off of the surface you're going to be working with. The final two things that you're going to need are um, a squeegee, um, or you can find like a, a rubber type squeegee to do this, and um, that's to first push out the bubbles so that way you don't rip the tent, um, and it helps to help grip down on the surface that you're tenting. And then you need a water bottle that is solely devoted to water and soap, so that way you have something to adhere the tent to. The next thing that you're going to want to have is a set of these uh, saw horses that you can build yourself or you can buy the ones that people who install glass actually use and they have rubber top the metal so that way the glass doesn't get scratched or broken but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw a comforter over the top and then lay the glass on top of that. So like I said, uh, just go ahead and throw a comforter over the top. Uh, it doesn't have to be a nice one or a bad one, just something to kind of put it on there safely and I like to put a dip in the middle. And then you want to set your glass on there in the middle the best you can. Just like that. And what you always want to do is you always want to paint on the, you always want to tent on the inside of the glass. Not on the back where it's exposed to the elements like the rain and wind and stuff like that because then it'll get tattered. When it's inside, it's in an enclosed environment and there's less chance of the tent actually finding its way up off of the glass. So then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your razor blade and you are going to take your paper towels and your spray and you're going to use your window cleaner and you're going to spray down the whole surface just like that. And what you're going to do with your razor blade is you're going to come along the whole surface everywhere on the glass you're going to run the blade over the top of it like this all around the whole window and what this is doing is this is actually removing all tiny tiny little microscopic debris um, dirt from your fingers, oil, grease all that stuff and it's removing it in my previous video I showed how to get all the old adhesive off of a window, rear window that you're installing. That link will be in the description. And then what you do once you've scraped everything down is you're going to grab a couple of paper towels and you're going to kind of scrub it in. And this will work all the little creases and cracks that are inside the window and get it freed up of all those pieces of dirt. And then once you do that, go ahead and flip it over and go side to side. Before I install the tent, and I like to go over it with one more clean one, just to make sure that I get every little bit. And it is helpful to use these lint-free paper towels. Um, you can get them at Home Depot, Walmart, uh, pretty much anywhere. And um, they do great because if you use just normal kitchen ones, they leave little tiny pieces of paper or lint on the surface so when you tent it then you'll have bubbles from that. So now the window is totally prepped and ready for us to uh, lay down the tent. So now when you buy tent from a store um, it'll be rolled up and then when you open up the uh, container that the rolls in there will be a little piece of tape here. Sometimes you'll get lucky and they'll have these little tabs but other times it'll just be a piece of tape and um, depending on how much of the tent you're actually going to use, usually I have a little left over at the end, but you just want to slowly kind of peel that up and you want to take your time with this because if you don't, 
it will leave a little ridge on the edge as well as four or five inches down so you'll just have to completely cut that off um, if you're not really careful with what you're doing. And there you go. Another little tip um, that I'll let you in on is that usually the clear stuff, the adhesive side is on this side of the roll, not on the inside. So you'll always have a curve up when you're tenting, generally. As far as I know, and every piece of tent that I've ever dealt with, that's what it's looked like. And the way that you get this up is you basically bite down on this and move your teeth back and forth to get it to loosen up. And get your tongue in there too so that way you can kind of get a little bit of moisture in there because moisture will help separate this. I'll show you how to do that right now. So the first time I ever saw somebody do this, I thought it was the strangest thing ever. I saw him bite in the tent and I'm like, there's got to be a different way to do that. But um, I've seen tons of people do it and this is how it's done. So you uh, take a piece of the tent like this and you basically just work your teeth back and forth and stick your tongue on the tip and then you can kind of pinch it and there you go so now that's all that took it apart like that. So that's how you do that. So then like I said, you're gonna take your uh, soapy water, that's all it is, it's just dish soap and water, and you're going to change it to a fan setting, and you're gonna spray it down. And you wanna soak it, you want it to be pretty saturated up. And then what you're gonna do, is you're gonna take your tent, your water and you're going to lay this over and see exactly how much how much tent you're going to need so then you're going to take your new bleed and you're just going to run it down just like that and you put this to the side you can throw it away uh, if you need it great cool uh, yeah so now that we've got that all figured out and we don't have to do any prior cutting. Like I said, the window's out, so I'll be able to just cut around the edges, and that will be the easiest. Is Now I can remove it off of here, bring it out here, and then I can do that technique that I showed you guys where you bite the edge. So then what you want to do is once you've got your corner, you want to spray some of this a piece of glass or a piece of a car body or something like that. So that way you have kind of something that you can stick it to like that. And then start spraying. You want to coat this area underneath the clear and get that completely covered and saturated as well. And it's really nice if you have somebody helping you out uh, who can kind of hold one side while you're spraying the other side. So it can be done, but it's easier that way. And you just basically just cover the whole thing all the way down to the ground. itself um, don't worry just uh, be really gentle take your time and then what you're going to do is you're going to lay it onto the glass just like that try to get it lined up the best you can and then you should be good 
got lucky with this one. It's just about the perfect size, excluding the edges. So that'll work out great. And then just kind of, kind of work some of these bubbles out lightly with your fingers, kind of like that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your big squeegee. You're going to spray down over the top of this side now because you don't want to force anything here. You're just trying to push. And once you get that all sprayed down with soapy water, then you want to, this is called anchoring the tent. So basically what I'm doing is I'm starting in the middle and then I'm working my way out to the sides. And what that's doing is causing an, causing an anchor so that way it has somewhere to start sticking. And you just slowly start working it out. And then, once you've got it to that point there, you can take your razor again and you slide it into the side and you slowly hold pressure against the edge of the glass. And you're basically just tracing it out. So once you get all the edges all cut out, then you want to go ahead and spray it down again so you can have that sort of lubricant going. And then you just start working out the little fingers again, just like you did last time. But this time you can add a little more pressure. And the fingers will keep coming up, but that's okay. Um, you just keep working them out.
Okay, so now that you're at this point here and you've got most of the fingers kind of worked down to just the edges, um, what you can do to speed up your process is to take a heat gun and put it on the low setting and then you can just slowly kind of work these out. What air bubbles or fingers are is uh, water trapped underneath. So if you can kind of speed up the process a little bit to making those air bubbles or water areas dry out, then essentially the fingers, in theory, should go away. So, you don't want to run it on high speed. You can, um, but, you know, if you want to take your time, you want it to look good. So just keep, keep working them out, just like this, just like I'm doing, just finding the uh, fingers and heating them up and pushing the water out of them, like that. So there you go, now you've got your window all tinted up, ready to be installed. And uh, if you like what you saw here today, make sure you tune in. I try and post as much content as I can during the week, one to two videos. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and like, and make sure you subscribe. And if you have any comments about the video, negative or positive, go ahead and leave those in the comment section down below. And I will throw any links that I promise to put in the description below as well. So thanks for tuning in.